So custom functions are nothing but those personalized functions that you can create for your unique business needs apart from those predefined functions that are already available. So first I'm going to show you how we can create a basic custom function for calculating the simple interest for this sample data. So for that I'll go to tools, custom function, create. So in this create dialog, first you'll have to enter the function's name. So mine will be simple interest. If you have a description that you would like to mention, you can mention it here. Otherwise you can just skip it. You can also define the result type here for the function. And then you can define the arguments for your function syntax. So for my function that is simple interest, I have three arguments I can mention. That is principal, rate of interest and the number of years. So I'm just going to mention my arguments here and I'm going to define their types. So if you're sure that the input numerical value is not going to be a decimal value, you can go with integer. But if you think the input can be a decimal value, go with float. So my input values here can be decimal values. So I'm going with float for all the three. And I'll create. So this brings me to the deluge editor. So as you can see, the deluge editor has a list of expressions that are already given you can simply drag and drop these expressions into the editor and create your function with ease so first i'm just going to drag and drop this expression here that is set variable so this will give me a sample syntax that i can start typing my function on so on the left hand side will be the variable name which has to be returned for me as a result so i'll just give a name saying simple interest and on the right side will be the actual syntax for my function. So my syntax for this function will be principal into rate into number of years by 100. So while typing the syntax, make sure that the argument names that you're using in the syntax are exactly same to that you have defined previously in the create dialog. So now that my syntax is ready, I'll move on to the next line, that is the return line. So in this line, I'll have to give the variable name that has to be returned as a result for me. So from this syntax, my variable name is simple interest that I've mentioned here on the left. So I'll type in simple interest. So I'm getting a suggestion. I'll just go on with that suggestion. So my function is ready right now. Now I'm going to save it. If your function is having any errors, they'll be listed here at the bottom of the editor. Now my function is not having any error, so it has been saved successfully. If you want to check, or uh, if you want to check your function before actually using them on your spreadsheet, or if you want to see a trial and check if your function is working correctly, you can use the option here called Run. So that will give you a dialog where you can enter sample values and check if your function is giving out the right output. So here I'll enter sample values, say thousand. 3.5 and 2 and click on OK and here at the bottom of the editor you can see that the function is giving me an output so now I know that my function is working perfectly so I'll just close this dialog and I'll use the function in the spreadsheet now these custom functions can be used similar to the way predefined functions are used in any spreadsheet application so we'll start with an equal sign and start typing the function's name. So that's a simple interest for me. As you can see, the function suggestions that are shown in the dropdown changes contextually as I start typing the characters. So my function's name is simple interest. Got it there. I'll just select it and I'll select the ranges similar to how I do that for other predefined functions. There we go and enter. So that there's my result. For the other rows, I'm just going to fill them using double tap and yes. So it's that simple to create and use. So similarly, if you wish to give a list of maps or a list of data records as input and get a list of values as the output in one step or in one shot, you can do that too. So I've already created a function called interest here. So for this function, I'm going to give the whole list of maps or the list of data records as input that will give me the complete result for this particular data in one single step 
So this will save you a lot of time when you're working on a large sum of data. 